Among all the knightly heroes of old romance, none is more conspicuous for deeds of dauntless daring in every possible form of gallantry than the legendary guy of Warwick. He not only led forlorn hopes against the heathen Danes, who, in the reign of Athelstane, grievously infested this country, but he fought the pagan Saracens abroad, always battling against great odds and always emerging from the contest with added glory to his illustrious name. He rescued fair ladies in distress, and as a matter of course, in the narrations of the romanticists and troubadours, he fought and vanquished terrible dragons, to say nothing of the monstrous dun cow he slew on Dunsmore Heath near Coventry, which had long been the scourge and terror of that countryside. From his numerous victories over giants and other formidable enemies, he was honoured in song and ballad as the English Hercules. Twas thy Herculean hand which happily destroyed the dragon which so long Northumberland annoyed sings the Elizabethan poet Michael Drayton. Like the boar he slew at Windsor, the dragon that he went against and utterly vanquished in Northumberland was a monstrous wild and cruel beast of passing might and strength. A horrible creature, black as any coal, with lion's paws, wings and a hide no sword could pierce. Nor was this his first achievement of the kind. Soon after he had slain the Soldan himself in single combat, this was why he was on his campaign in Byzantium and the east, his ship was becalmed in harbour, so he went hunting in a neighbouring forest to provide himself with venison. In the forest he came across a lion and a dragon fighting and resolved to watch the combat and then engage the conqueror. The dragon won. Guy then challenged the dragon, and after a fiercely contested engagement, bore down the stubborn brute and finally dispatched him. Whereupon the lion came up fawningly and lay at the feet of the doughty champion. Guy, Earl of Warwick, was not only one of the brightest flowers of English chivalry, but evidently one of the most accomplished of dragon slayers. Even the King of Beasts acknowledged his prowess in this paramount form of fighting. 